Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Summer Monet and in today's video, I am going to be giving you guys the card reading for the rest of the week, the energies that we can expect for the rest of this week. I wasn't able to put out this video for the beginning of this week because we did have a full moon, I have to say, and it was a bit intense for me, but I am really excited today to share with you that my energy has been really great and I'm really excited today to share with you guys the energies that we can expect within now into the end of this weekend also with that being said about the full moon that we experienced earlier this week i did feel called to pull from my moonology deck for you guys in today's video before i do get into today's video i do want to remind you guys that if anytime you're looking for a personal reading through oracle cards or tarot readings please make sure to always click the wizio link in the description box below so let's jump right into today's video so that we can understand the energies that we can expect throughout the end of this week so for today's video, I really felt inspired and called to pull from our tarot deck, our angel answers deck, as well as the monology deck. And also for a different little spin, I wanted to bring in the mantra deck so that we can have a mantra that we can also speak and cultivate its power so that we can bring that into our next week so we can continue to be prosperous and guided throughout our whole life journey. So the first card that did come out for us with the tarot deck is the page of pentacles so this is letting me know that we are becoming more i want to say practical when it comes to our finances like we're finding ways of how to build our wealth we are kind of mapping out and planning that's basically when i say we are planning our finances we're planning out how we can move forward this is someone who is going to be diligent who is determined as well so if that is definitely speaking to you i really feel this energy as well in my life this week of just planning um, my success seeing where i want to be within the next you know three months because we are in the last quarter of this year so it's really great that we are upkeeping this energy so that we can upkeep with our goals that need to be met by the end of this year Okay, so that's the energy also when it comes to this page of pentacles. And the first thing too, I want to tell you, he is also pulling, like he is receiving the money, right? You see with his hand, like he is opening up to it. So I want to say to yourself this week, when you are giving praise, when you are asking for the things that you want to receive, it's going to be great for you to put your hands out just like that. Like I am receiving an offer. Okay, that's something I do want to share with you guys. For the second card though, we did get the Emperor reverse, okay? So this is telling me that someone is not being as disciplined as they should be. Someone is being a bit stubborn as well, like they are not being fluid, they're not being flexible here. Um, this is also telling me someone who is not being motivated to do the things that they know that they need to do okay this is what the emperor is telling me um this is like giving me a pause this is what that energy is giving me this week so the one thing i want to say with this card is look at this week and see what it is that you know you should be doing but you're not doing it okay that's okay forgive yourself for that but now is the time to look at where you can bring that discipline in because we did get the chariot as the third card when it comes to this tarot reading right so the cherry is telling me that this is someone who is disciplined this is someone who will be having contentment this is someone who understands their flow they understand exactly what they need to do when they have to do it and i just think it's interesting to see those two energies uh be polar because that is polar energy because if you had the uh, emperor upright with the chariot, I would honestly say we are really doing it this week. We are really being disciplined and diligent about the things that we're doing. But having the emperor reverse next to the chariot is telling me that that's not what's going on. There is a there is a disharmony when it comes to being consistent with our project being consistent when it comes to this financial plan of uh, being consistent when it comes to our success goal okay but what is really exciting to see is that we did get the nine of cups okay so this is telling me that we will have a wish come true we will receive an abundance we will receive the success as long as we do the things that we are supposed to do with this chariot card Okay, chariots also cancer energy, and this is the cups, right? And cups is the water, right? So I just want you guys to be vigilant of that. Also with the blue and yellow, okay? So one thing I want to say is focus on your throat chakra because throat chakra is about speaking your truth, speaking clearly, communicating. And another thing with the yellow is the solar plexus, so creativity, right? So what is it that you can cultivate in your life that will allow you to create more, right? What discipline, what plan do you need to follow? What practical plan do you 
need to follow in order to receive your manifestation okay so that is what we received from our tarot deck so i also felt really called to pull from our Oh, but the first thing before I even go there, family, is we did get the Queen of Swords. This is what you really don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, right? So the Queen of Swords reversed is telling me there's a little bit of pessimistic energy here. There's a little bit of energy of indecision. There's just energy here. Like, I feel this kind of goes with the Emperor. Um, reverse being stubborn um, and not deciding on the things that you need to decide on because when we have this card upright she knows what she wants to do she's deciding what she wants to do without emotion you know she's just being very logical about what's going on and I don't feel that energy is here okay so maybe it is going too much in your feelings because we did get some cups here right but I also want to let you guys know that feelings allow us to heal as well so you have to feel to heal something so the only way you will be able to heal your lack of discipline is by feeling it right feeling the consequence of whatever that may be so understand you are the creator you are the one who is running this show so how do you want to run it that's the biggest thing i wanted to ask you so i did pull from our um angel answers so the Three cards I, I put in a set like this because I feel like this is that story. So we did get um, get more information, ask your angels, and meditation brings answers. Okay, so what this is telling me is that this week there is more information that is required for us to take a next step. Okay, how we are able to get the information is by sitting within ourselves creating a moment of peace creating moments of serenity within our own lives in our hectic day in our busy day and asking your angels what is the next step that i need to take what is the next inspired action that i need to take to fulfill this vision right but then also taking it up an extra step is when you allow yourself to quiet your mind i mean in meditation right not focusing on any thought just flowing focusing on breath in and out whatever it is that you need to focus on even if it's just a light beam that you're focusing on coming through your third eye okay third eye is important i feel that too with this with this uh three card selection it's like the third eye because the third eye is able to see is able to receive right so meditate to bring the answer right ask your angels to bring the answer because that is how you're going to get your information okay mm -hmm. so feel safe to receive your guidance feel safe to ask your angels for exactly what it is that you want because you can have it i want you guys to know that okay i want you to feel safe with that so the next things that we did receive also in our angel answers is compromise and communicate clearly so what is that what that is telling me here is with that compromise card, I really also feel like it's going to be kind of dead center when it comes to the emperor and the chariot, like compromising with yourself. It's like, okay, I will have to sacrifice um, maybe being on my phone for a specific amount of time because for that specific amount of time, I want to focus on this. Okay, so that's what I felt the compromise is. But also with this communicate clearly card, there might be another party involved. Like there might be a person uh, that you may be dealing with that you have to compromise with. And I think that's another reason why I saw that blue here, especially in the emperor card and the blue as well. And the page of pentacles, it's like throat chakra, right? Especially the blue in this card as well. So throat chakra on blockages, um, chanting, singing, anything like that speaking your affirmations will allow your throat chakra to feel open to feel unblocked right to feel like there's alignment there because that is what's needed also communicate clearly to your guys exactly what it is that you want like you have to be clear you can't just say i want this and you have no specific details about it you know what what by what time do you want to manifest this how does it look how does it feel to have this manifestation okay so communicate that clearly to yourself so that you can convey it to the universe in a clear concise way as well and the last two cards beautiful cards that we did get uh from our angel answers deck is abundance and big happy changes okay so big happy changes are coming i really want you guys to know that and that's what i feel like that nine of cups is signifying to us it's like yes you will be able to have your wish come true you will be able to have fulfillment you will be able to receive abundance and big happy changes only if you are the chariot only if you are disciplined only if you are optimistic about the things that are coming to you in your life experience right because it isn't so black and white right it's not it's not it's not it's it's integration it's 
one with everything right it's not just if i do this one thing no but how are certain actions that i could take that can lead me to where i want to be because it's not necessarily one two three right you have to feel your way through it so you have to speak your way through to what you want to manifest in your life and at the bottom of the deck it says it's up to you so this is telling me someone is kind of not believing someone's going back and forth because they may be caring so much about their 3d experience but i want to let you guys know this right now your 3d circumstance doesn't matter and i know that may be hard for someone to hear especially if they're not enjoying their 3d circumstance right now but i want you to know it doesn't matter it's the past it's a past manifestation so stop thinking about it think about your issue or your problem in a more higher frequency state you know look at it differently um that's something i hear too it's like i want you to start to say i choose to see this differently you know when it comes to your manifestation i choose to believe this manifestation is coming from me i intend for this manifestation to come to me because at that point you are taking control right you are taking control of your mindset of trusting that i can have it because it is up to me okay so feel safe with that so that's a really good reading um so the next deck i did pull from is our moonology deck and i did pull which is a beautiful card to see i love to see it too honestly your dreams need a practical plan and if you see that green and pink that's our heart chakra okay so flow through your heart when it comes to your manifestation right but the practical plan again with that chariot card you know being disciplined with what you have to do um page of pentacles figuring out what steps you need to take in order to get to where you want to be that is what this card is also going to confirm for us is that this is the week that we need to plan how do you want these next 90 days of your life to go how you know how do you want it to be how do you want it to feel and i don't want you to be scared i don't want you to be afraid of what it can be for you it can be absolutely magical but it's up to you to believe that it's up to you to be disciplined with your practical goal because the moment you do this card here is to tell us that prosperity lies ahead family with that new and taurus energy again with that green heart chakra okay so focus again on the prosperity that lies ahead for you that is here for you that wants you to prosper okay the next card that I did pick for us is adjustments are required. And this is the third quarter moon. <laughs> Look at that. I'm, I'm speaking about this. Like adjustments are required because something is not, something is not flowing right now. Something is not in alignment. And I really believe that that is that um, emperor reverse energy. It's like you're not being disciplined. You're not seeing the adjustments that need to be made, that need to be met right adjustments are required adjustments adjust adjust the plan adjust the plan i don't care how many times you have to go back to adjust the plan you do that as many times until the plan works i want you guys to think about this if you're gonna go do something i need you to take all the boats and go i don't need you to think there's a plan b you need to make sure plan a is going to work there is no plan b here because the moment you think you can do something else, the moment you think you're, you're comfortable where you're at, you will stay where you're at. So I need you to be courageous. I need you to be daring to yourself to say, I am going to do this, even though if it seems scary. I am going to adjust the plan as many times as I need for myself because I love myself enough to change as many times as I need to, right? And then the last card that we did get, look at that communication is key new moon and gemini look at that blue energy okay that throat chakra okay i've even seen this shadow here it's like maybe someone has to work through their shadow of communication maybe someone here has not so good communication when it comes to expressing yourself expressing your feelings right you have to make sure you are communicating clearly so that you are understood clearly and you also want to make sure that you are communicating in a way that is respectful to yourself and to the other person and to the other energy that you are exchanging with okay so that's very important another thing i want to let you guys know is that all of these cards are kind of like dark moons right the only light moons that we really have here is the third quarter moon which is a half moon and then the full moon right but most of these are in new moon energy so i'm thinking working with the shadow integration with the shadow this end of this week okay so lastly oh also at the end of the deck that you don't see coming is the end of a tough cycle is approaching okay mm -hmm. so 
that's really great to see, right? A new cycle is going to be starting, but in order for that to happen, something has to end, right? So that's good to know if you are struggling through something right now that this is going to be a pivotal time for you to receive all of the blessings that you are excited to receive through that hardship, through being dedicated, and through seeing the vision even though the circumstance may not have been so nice to receive and to feel, okay? So lastly, I did pull from our mantra healing deck, and the first one we did get is resolving anger. Okay, and that's the mantra. Conflict reminds me when I need more space for myself. Okay, conflict reminds me when I need more space for myself. All right, anytime there's conflict drama going on in your life, I want you to know there's conflict and drama within yourself because that's how it manifested outside of you. Correct? So that's why I say it's very important every day to give yourself undivided attention to remind yourself how much you love you, how much you love to quiet down yourself to receive guidance from your angels right you have to give yourself that time you have to love yourself first if you want life to do the same okay inviting ecstasy i am worthy of all the pleasure my heart desires do you hear that say it with me i am worthy of all the pleasure my heart desires because you are beautiful soul you are so worthy it's up to you to know that you're worthy of having all that you desire, okay? We got grounding my energy, which is really good to see. I also posted recently a root chakra video. So if you are interested in that to learn more about grounding energy and cleansing your root chakra, please check that out. But this card is also just reminding us that the mantra states, it is safe to be in my body, okay? It's safe for you to be where you're at. It's okay where you're at, it's safe. It's opening up a way for you to receive more. So it's safe. This is your home. And I want you to always feel safe in your home, okay? Dispelling sadness is another one that we got. And the mantra is, I will feel better once I get the rest I need, okay? So I want all of us to remember that it's important to sleep. It's important for downtime. It's important to be in that feminine energy too. It's about the yin and yang and about cycle right it's about flowing it's about understanding balance when it comes to both energies of masculine and feminine and that's what we have within each of us okay so i'm not necessarily speaking about gender but when you feel called to rest rest i know for me personally um we just had a full moon and i was sleeping a lot and i was it was kind of odd but you know i had to let myself do that you know and i'm really grateful i did and i see that confirmation this week so give yourself the rest that you need um and give yourself that love that you're looking for as well and the last one, look at that, activating the third chakra, I mean the third eye, and I was speaking about that with you guys today as well when I was talking about getting communication, asking your um, angels for uh, guidance and meditation, and the mantra is, I am willing to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. I am willing to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. I was just telling to you guys how willing are you not to give in to your 3D circumstances right now? Because you have to be very willing, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, we did get polishing my heart. I was speaking about the heart chakra as well earlier. And it's saying, feeling is a power that helps me heal. And I just want to remind you guys that feeling is always going to be the healing process, okay, family? So I just want to say... This is going to be a really good week. We have so much good to receive, but there's also so many things that is up to us to receive, to know that we can still have it. We can still touch it. We can still receive it, even if our circumstance right now isn't necessarily showing that. Okay, family? So continue to be disciplined, continue to be diligent, and continue to know that you are worthy of everything that you're asking for. Okay, so have a fantastic rest of your week, and I will see you guys in next week's uh, weekly update. I send all my love, my light, and my grace to each of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.